hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys if you are facing the issue ethernet does not have a valid IP so this video is for you I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue so first of all from your end you need to make sure that you have connected the ethernet cable properly on your system and the ethernet cable is working fine you can reinsert it and check back if it is blinking any light it means that it is connected properly and it is working so once you have confirmed that the ethernet cable is working fine we can go with the OS level troubleshooting so step number one we will check and identify if there is any manual IP conflicting with this error so you need to right click on your ethernet option then you need to go to properties and once you go to properties look for this option IPv4 version go to its properties and here if any manual IP is there if any manual IP is here you need to remove that and select this option obtain an IP automatically and obtain DNS server automatically once you have selected that click on apply click on ok and I have seen that this fixed the issue many times so this is the step number two now let's move on to the step number two here that one the first step again click on this option and this time choose the following DNS with the 8.8.8.8 sometime the windows cannot able to get the DNS automatically so we can use this DNS 8.8.8 8.8.4.4 and then click on OK and once you check and you have assigned the DNS to your system it should be connected here if not you can try to disable it once and once you disable it you can re-enable it once so this is a process in order to re-enable and disable this will refresh all the settings here additionally you can open the services of windows so open the services run as admin and we need to look for some services here the service number first is WLAN auto config press W on your keyboard and this is directly related to internet WNL this also WLAN auto config make sure it is running if not right click go to its properties select automatic start the service and then click on apply click on ok and another service is DNS press D on our keyboard and look for DNS a DHCP client make sure it is also running here and we can also try to client DNS you can restart the services here if you are able to see but make sure the startup type should be running here status and automatic you can restart it and it will again try to detect any DNS it is asking it's already running here but it will try to get the new IP here so this is the step number two now let's move on to the step number three open the CMD okay run as admin and we need to flush our DNS cache here so type here the command IP config space slash flush DNS and next command is net sh winshock reset this will reset socket errors the next command in order to get a new IP here IP config space slash renew once you type this command you need to wait okay and once you renew the IP address you will get a new IP address so I'm not pressing enter here since I have connected remotely it will be disconnected but you can do that once you have processed this step again restart your system 
and check back if that fixed your issue or not if still not fix your issue we can go to the driver label so open the device manager simply once you open the device manager we can look for the ethernet driver as you know drivers are very important in windows so look for your ethernet cable I mean the driver right click on it update and if you are connected with the Wi-Fi once select this option if not then right click choose this option this time and select it you can select multiple options over there and once you reinstall the new driver on your windows it should fix the issue if it is related to driver if still not you can go to its properties and go to driver tab and roll back the driver if the previous one is working and after that you are facing any kind of issues so you can see if that fix your issue or not sometime what happens that uh, the latest windows cause the issue so you can also uninstall the latest windows from your windows since the sometime windows corrupts or some issues just click on windows update and scroll down look for windows history first of all pause the update for a week choose this option and then go to update history uninstall updates and from here choose the option uninstall look for the latest with the date here and uninstall them and restart your windows and it will be surely fix your issue so these are the fix to fix the issue guys so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching